Hello and welcome back to Inscription. So I've just spent some time on the huh, I'm wondering what this one um trying to decode there was a hand. I saw it. Trying to decode this Morse code. I think I have it. What I managed to decode was S. It was like dot 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 S dash dash dot dot G dash dash M dash dot 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 B. Is it correct? I have no idea. That's a squirrel holding a dagger. I didn't see that earlier. Hmm. That looks like a handprint. Whose life is this? Because if every hand represents a life... Then it must mean something. I'm pretty sure something is sitting behind me when I'm right here. An ascent raven. It is no less con con conniving in its incubation. The watchful bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. I think I'll take those with mushrooms. I'll try to take those with mushrooms. Um, I don't want to go against the totem. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There's room for a creature around the fire. The one full enhance its health. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but couldn't stop licking their lips. No way! Okay, if you don't want that... The health of the strange larvae was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, he withdrew. So we will see if my understanding of the Morse code is as horrible as it always was, or it, whether or not it improved. Um, Beehive. Uh, once a card bearing this sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health, airborne. You have to. A card bearing this sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. It will submerge opposing creatures attack its owner directly. Okay. You are lacking sacrifices for the strange larvae. Yes, I know. I just need to. You have five health, I'll put you here, I don't know what you will do. Strange pupa. So they won't attack. They will attack. What the... wait, 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 what? Mothman. That's unsettling.
You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. Cost that I wish to pay. A random card with a cost of two. What were you expecting? I don't think we have a card with cost of three, so I could have come up for that. A warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight, though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its power. <laughs> Pick something else. Yeah, we don't have one a card with three. A cut, perhaps, or even... The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your raven. What is that? Bullfrog, okay. Eh, I mean, we can put a cut over here. And straight away I can do this. I didn't like that. They are both lost. Nothing I can play. How disappointing. We had a crystal. The monstrous grizzly, its form speaks enough of its eff efficacy. Oh, no, he gave it to me. So we did not have any grizzly. Okay. Will it give me... No, I don't think it will give me two sacrifices. But that... But I think we can... Well, I, I don't find any of those useful. Uh, okay, you'll keep this. To the cat. They yeah, they can have multiple so once they're enhanced we cannot enhance them again.
they're all flyers. You dealt more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at my belts? Take a belt, free or charge. See the quality. Okay, you're leaving already? Please, consider me belts. I don't know what they will give me. Okay. It's a thanks for your business. The men assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would be would reward you for them. It's bleeding yields free blood, if you can ignore the bleeding. Took me nice for Grizzly. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler, goldfish. Okay, what do we have here? Kingfisher, okay. Hmm. Oh, I shouldn't have used that. That's bad, that was so bad. Which fish? Heartless. Okay. Oh, sorry. So... New fish. Easy choose. Too soon. I should have done it earlier. <sighs> if I destroyed that grizzly, we would have won. Or it would have been closer to winning. Huh. 
go fish. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from the mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please, choose a card to draw the cost from. A cost of... free from the rabbit pelt. And another. This time I will use its power and health. The numbers. Three power and two health from the wolf. Now choose a card from which we'll extract the sigils. A sigil of many lives and a sigil of stinky from the cat. I never did ask you your name. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You don't need you do not need to smile. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps we can understand bones. The resourceful opossum cast two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes, for any reason. Rattler. From the death of your creature you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent, or the battle ends. Oh, I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Yeah, I know where it is. Oh. Okay, Raven Squirrel, and it looks like in the front row. Boom. Not like I can put it anywhere else. Okay, I'll draw. Put that down. Okay, and I just wanted to make sure they are not upgraded in any way. Wonder what that is. Raven and squirrel. Oh, 
Those are definitely not the numbers on the cards, okay? Hmm. Okay, I can put it wherever. Can I take another one? No. Teeth. Hmm. Wait. Okay, I cannot carry more than two items. Two seven three. Okay. Two seven. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is is that stowed around? This tempted the madness must end. Put that way. Oh, sure. Two, three, four, five, and then like this. I forgot that I had put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck, and I'll deal you on every so often. On ever so often. Let's see, this one stops this. I cannot move it up. One. Only one goes through. Does this one will stop? So it's definitely like this. But this one can be moved up, but. This one cannot be moved at all. Okay, so it has to stay like this. Or is it necessary to deal it up? One. What if I do it like this? Nothing. I must be the one doing damage. Four. One? How does that change? Five. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well, I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. Okay. Nothing is happening. What if I do this? Three. Do I have this? Four. Five. Curious. This will deal one damage here and here. This deals one damage back. Two. 
So I think I'll go to this three. Two. Eight. Hmm. Because as I understand, this one will one. Yeah. This one does damage straight unless it's hit. This can be moved up or down. Cannot. Okay, this can be moved up or down. So as I understand this one should hit. Wait a moment. Can check it. Hmm. Disassemble this one. Once a card bearing the citrus struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. And when a card brings through will be struck, a tail is created in its place and a card brings through moves to the right. Okay. I'm looking for something quite different. Really, fish hook. One of my card uh, hook one of my cards to take it as your own. You must have an empty space on your side to receive it. Okay. Card during this rule will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across from it. So we will strike this and this. He will strike this and this. But only three. One. Oh. One. No. Two. Three. I don't understand this one. Two. Why? One. Why? Two. This one doesn't go through. As I understand. Oh, this one hits the lizard, so it moves to the right. With one HP, it gets hit with this. Hmm. But why won't it be like this? So this one hits straight, so one damage. This one hits here, so one damage. This two hits the lizard. Okay, lizard moves to the right with one health left, but then this one hits here and hits here, so it doesn't kill the lizard before it kill. Okay, that's our last bit of damage. Okay, do this. It's only two. I think that we there's something missing here. Cause I can't, I can't move this one, so this lizard will move here either way, unless... Hmm. There's something not quite right. Okay, I'll have to think about this one, but apparently I've already spent a lot of time on this, so for now, thank you very much. Stay alive, and see you soon.